Imagine being unable to eat or drink. How would you survive? For individuals with certain medical conditions, a seemingly simple solution lies within a thin, flexible tube known as the Dobhoff tube. This tube is far more than just a way to deliver food. It's a critical tool that can deliver medicine, support recovery, and in many cases, save lives. Let's delve into the world of the Dobhoff tube, understanding what it is, how it works, and its profound impact on healthcare. The Dobhoff tube is a specialized type of nasogastric or N-tube. That means it's a thin tube inserted through the nose, down the throat, and into the digestive system. Dobhoff tubes are notably thinner than standard N-tubes, making them more comfortable for patients. They also have a unique feature, a weighted tip that helps it travel smoothly through the digestive tract. The Dobhoff tube has a fascinating origin story. In the mid-1970s, surgeons Robert Dobby and James Hoffmeister revolutionized patient care by inventing this specialized feeding tube. It was a true collaboration with their last names combining to form the name Dobhoff. Primarily, Dobhoff tubes provide nutrition to patients who can't eat or drink normally. This could be due to surgery, illness, or eating disorders. Think of it as a lifeline, delivering essential nutrients directly to the body. But their usefulness doesn't stop there. Dobhoff tubes also deliver medication. Many medications come in pill form, but Dobhoff tubes allow liquid versions to be administered directly, ensuring patients receive the treatment they need. It's crucial to remember, Dobhoff tubes aren't like other Eng tubes that use suction. They are designed for gentle delivery, and flushing them with water before and after use prevents clogs and ensures smooth function. Don't worry. Inserting a Dobhoff tube is a relatively straightforward procedure. A skilled nurse or doctor can place it right at the patient's bedside. The process starts with a guide wire called a stylet that aids in placing the tube accurately. Once it's in place, the stylet is removed. The weighted tip is the star of the show here. This weight, usually made of metal safely encased in silicone, is key to guiding the tube effortlessly through the esophagus and into its intended destination. With the help of peristalsis, those natural muscle contractions of your digestive system, the Dobhoff tube navigates to its intended location. Typically, the tube goes into the stomach, but often doctors prefer placing it even further down into the duodenum. This helps prevent gastric reflux, ensuring the nutrients stay where they should. After insertion, medical professionals use x-rays or fluoroscopy to confirm that the tube is in the right place. While Dobhoff tubes are generally safe, it's important to be aware of potential complications. Sometimes, the tube may accidentally enter a bronchial tube leading to the lungs or even puncture the sensitive tissues around the lungs. Most importantly, if the tube isn't placed far enough in, there's a risk of aspiration. That's why doctors rely on those x-rays to get a clear picture. If a patient will be using the tube for a long time, doctors may occasionally recheck its position to be extra safe. You might be wondering, what's it like to live with a Dobhoff tube? Since the tube is small and flexible, most patients find it quite comfortable as compared to other types of feeding tubes. Typically, feedings are administered with a portable feeding pump over a period of time, allowing patients more freedom than being confined to hospital equipment. However, there are some key things to remember. Good oral hygiene is essential. Even though patients aren't eating normally, proper brushing, flossing, and mouthwash can help prevent infections and other issues. It's also very important to monitor the skin around the nose where the tube enters. Redness or irritation might indicate a problem, so patients and caregivers should watch this area closely. The impact of the Dobhoff tube can be immeasurable. For patients recovering from surgery, it ensures proper nutrition when eating normally isn't yet possible. For those with chronic conditions, it becomes a long-term support system, providing vital nutrients for survival. In many cases, it's the difference between ongoing debility and a chance to heal, recover, and thrive. While we focused on nutrition, 
It's exciting to mention that there's ongoing research into new uses for Dobhoff tubes. Some studies explore their use in administering specific medications for conditions like Parkinson's disease, or even possibly using them to help monitor and diagnose digestive issues. From its humble beginnings, as an idea sparked by two pioneering surgeons, the Dobhoff tube has become an indispensable tool in modern medicine. When faced with conditions that make eating or swallowing difficult, it provides a pathway to nutrition, medication, medication, and ultimately a path towards improved health. If you or someone you know has firsthand experience with a Dobhoff tube, we'd love to hear from you. Share your story in the comments section to help others understand the impact of this life-saving technology. Did you find this video helpful? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative medical content.